Tashi Delek. It's wonderful to greet the students of the Central University of Tibetan Studies. I'm Greg Took, and I teach at the University of Washington and also Seattle University, and I'm with Took International Consulting. And um, we're really excited here to begin this uh, course with you all, so thank you for offering to be part of it. Let me begin by telling you a little bit about myself and then I'll move into what this course is all about and what we'll be doing together over the next 12 weeks. So we start this week. Uh, we'll start be communicating with each other and uh, it'll finish on uh, March 12th. And the reason I'm, we got started in this project was because of a conversation that I had with Dr. Uh, Tashi Sering. Uh, and we had a Skype call together that was uh, facilitated um, from a new colleague friend of mine, uh, Lob Song Sering, who had told me about your university. I had uh, learned of him living in this country uh, a few months ago and um, met with him and told him of this idea that we had in which we wanted to connect and work with uh, students in India. And he said, I have just the university for you and just the right students. And he said, it's a university I went to several years ago, and I think it'll be just perfect. So um, consequently, we got in touch with Dr. Sering, who also said he would love to do this, and here we are. So I, I got into this work really because uh, I knew how important this kind of interaction is between people around the world. And I know that because I've been working in education for a couple decades now and in the last 10 years been working to create international collaboration um, because it's, it's made such a difference in my own life. My background is as a social activist working on uh, social problems, uh, everything from working on issues of poverty to clean water to uh, trying to reduce the number of nuclear weapons in our world. And, but more recently I've worked a lot on education because I think education is really, that's the way we help create, I think, a better world. Now, to do that, we've got to figure out how to live in this world together, right? I mean, that's a lot what your studies are about. Um, how do we um, uh, help improve ourselves and help um, make for uh, a better world? And I think that happens when we start understanding one another. Now, it used to be the only way to do that was you had to travel to another country or people needed to travel to yours and you could interact with other people and get to know them and see how we're similar and how we're different and how we have common interests. But now, with tools like this, these virtual tools, it makes it possible instead of for just a very small number of people, really for everyone to be able to connect virtually. But there's a problem. And the problem is, first, how do we talk to one another and get to know one another just in general? even if we're in the same room together. But then the second is, wonder if we can connect virtually like this. How can we have real connections if we're never in the same room together? And then it brings up a third thing, which is then if we start to understand one another, how could we really work together in teams to be able to really address the problems that we all face? So that's what this course is really about. It's about connecting with each other, not just in the head, but from the heart. It's about how we communicate using these virtual tools. And then it's how we work together in global teams to start understanding social problems to be able to better address them. So that's what we're embarked on, and uh, I'm very excited about it. Now. I've been to India a couple times. I've been very fortunate. Uh, one of the organizations I worked with um, traveled to Dharamsala a couple times and worked with students there at the Tibetan Children's Village, which I know many of you are very familiar with. And uh, those students did something like what we're going to do, uh, which is to create digital stories, create videos, and share them with each other. And um, 
There's some very interesting stories about uh, my first travels there. A lot of mistakes I made. One of them was um, I almost got um, arrested in Jammu for carrying this. Um, this is a backpack banjo, and I can tell you that story later on. But fortunately, I did not get arrested and thrown in jail. So was able to live to tell about it for another day. Uh, but we can get into that as we, uh, as we go into it. And there'll be many more stories about other students that you'll meet, and I hope you do uncover these um, with each other. So here's how the project is going to work. Uh, first, we need to be able to connect with each other and uh, learn from each other. So the first part is going to be um, doing that. And in this first week, uh, what you'll be doing is going on to the Facebook uh, that's now been set up uh, where you're probably seeing this video and uh, it'll be an opportunity for you to post there something about yourself that uh, um, you think would be cool for other people to know. And the way we're going to do that is we're suggesting that each of you bring some kind of what I'm calling a cultural artifact that you can take a photo of and post it um, along with saying something about that artifact that is meaningful to you. And it can be anything. Um, it can be a stone that is important to you. It can be a photo. Uh, it can be a picture that you drew. For me, well, I'm a musician. And uh, I play the banjo. And I love playing this. And the reason I love playing it is that it's another way to communicate with people. Uh, I love singing. I'm a terrible singer, but I love to sing. And uh, so every time I travel, this is pretty big to carry with me. So that's why I carry my backpack banjo a lot, a lot smaller. Uh, very easy to carry around, and uh, I play it. And even if we don't speak the same language, music is a universal language that we all know. So that's a little bit about me, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you'll post. So each of you will go onto Facebook, say something about yourself and what this object means to you in relation to that. And then the students on this side will do the same with you. And what I'm going to be asking them to do is we want each of you partnered up with at least one person. So the students here will see what you've posted and they'll partner up with you. And, uh, and I think we'll have a few, uh, we may not have as many students here as you have there. I think we're scheduled for around eight and I think there's 13 of you. So a couple of our students will have a couple of you that we'll partner up with. And that'll be your partner for throughout the 12 weeks in which you really get to know them in depth and go back and forth and you can communicate any ways you want to. That's the interesting thing. You can do a live video conference with each other, um, text back and forth, Facebook, send videos, whatever you want. Um, but the whole idea is to really, at least with one person, get to know them in some real depth. Now, the second thing you're going to be doing this week that um, Tenson will be helping you with, and I'm so glad to, to have uh, Tenson as my partner in this. Uh, Tenson has agreed to help coordinate and facilitate on that side like I'm doing on this side. So he and I will be talking a lot in between the weeks. Well, Tenson and I have talked about, um, we want to talk about some social problems that we're all concerned about um, in India and here. So, we're asking you um, to think of things that are on your mind, that are important to you, you would like to know another perspective about. Um, it could be something around water pollution, um, you know, taking a look at water pollution as it affects the Ganges and taking a look at how it affects the Mississippi River here and, um, or the oceans. Um, it could be around uh, uh, civil rights and, um, and uh, human rights and looking particularly at things like human rights and how it affects um, you know, the Dalai Lama and how it affects um, um, prisoners that the U.S. has, uh, has uh, got at Guantanamo Bay. I'm not sure, it doesn't matter, but you know, it has to be like a, a central issue that you're concerned about. 
or it could be about corruption. Um, there's a whole host of topics, you know, government corruption that we could talk about. We want to look at it from various perspectives, how it affects things, how it affects you, how it affects students here, and what's similar and what's different. So you'll be posting. What we'd like you to do is take a look at a, the range of things you're concerned about and then narrow it down to three. Because what we're going to be having is we need to learn how we work together in global teams, even if we're at never in the same room together. So you'll be forming teams. Um, each team will be composed of like several people from your university, several people here. Probably a team of, you know, like six, seven people. Three or four there, three or four here. Um, and that team will then take on one of those, one of these three social problems. So there'll be three global teams. Each of them will select one of the problems. So, what you're tasked to do is to come up with those three key social issues that there'll be three teams around and then we want you to sign up for one of those teams, just one, and then we'll have students on this side see what three issues you've posted this week and they will sign up for one of those three teams and hopefully they'll be roughly equal in size. All right. Then, over the course of this, uh, of this class, each team will be investigating that social issue, examining it from different perspectives, sharing what you learn with each other, and then making a two to three minute video, uh, like a mini documentary, about that issue. So, um, and then at the end of the course, on the week of May or March 10th and 12th, we will do a live video conference in which you present the video to everybody in, in both classrooms. It will be a live Skype conference and, um, and you'll talk about um, what you learned in this process of, of uh, both in making this together as a team and coming to decisions together, but also about what you learned about the issue. All right, so that's the basic framework. What we hope will happen, what we're planning on happening, is about every other week we'll connect through live video conferencing. Um, and then in between you'll be connecting through Facebook and other means, um, both with your one-to-one -one partner and with your global team in particular. And there'll be times where the whole classes will be connecting. And we'll be talking about social issues and we'll be talking about how you use media. Um, part of the content of this class will be that I, w I have created some videos, short little 10 to 15 minute videos that help you uh, understand how the elements of how to make a good video. Uh, and then there's a software tool that you'll be using that will be accessible to you. It's in the cloud <laughs> and uh, it's like Movie Maker and you'll be able to upload content there and then make the movie together with your team. Um, and there'll be articles, uh, but a lot of this is going to be, we're going to be learning with each other. You're going to be posting information on, you, on Facebook about your social issue, about yourself, about your understanding of um, how it affects you. And, uh, and the students here will be doing the same and posting information about content, um, about, about um, video making and social issues. So you'll be learning back and forth. I will be doing the same. So there'll be some shared articles to read during the week. And there'll be information that's posted that we all learn together by people in the class. So, that's the essence of the class. Very excited to begin this with you. Within the next week, we'll have a live video conference with, uh, with you all and greet you and, um, and do a little welcome. And hopefully we'll learn a whole lot about each other and about the shared common problems and challenges and solutions that uh, we all face and that we can create together. So, one of the things I hope to learn is a few additional words. Uh, so, I speak uh, some Tibetan. Uh, Tenson's going to be helping me with that. I got Tashi Dilek, that's about the extent so far, and he taught me a new one last week, which is uh, Tuk Ji Che. Tuk Ji Che, which I hope means take care and see you later. <laughs>